Hello, everybody. Diane Gazine at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. And the message today is listen to what you say. Simple. Follow through with what you say. And if you said yes, make it happen. If you said no, then don't do it. So many people are not paying attention to their language, their commitments. I don't know if you have commitment phobia. I don't know if you just don't know how to listen to yourself and listen to what you're telling others. But in the adult world, I listen to what you say. And if you say you're going to do A, B, and C, okay, I expect you to do A, B, and C. If you say you're not going to, then don't try. Don't get in my way. We're the adults. You're not 8, 12, or 14. Your parents are going to show up and, and clean up everything. At least I hope not. So the older, the wiser that you get, the stronger your language needs to be. And you need to pay attention to what you say and what you commit to or what you don't commit to and, and stay true. It makes sense, doesn't it? And you may see how so many people will say something and never follow through. I don't know if they get nervous. I don't know if it gets difficult. I don't know if they think somebody else is, um, somebody else is going to show up and it's their responsibility to finish for you. Well, I'll tell you, nobody is your mama and your daddy. If you're in the adult world, it's all about you. So I tell my clients to grow up, show up, put some skin in the game. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay not to know how. But in the showing up, you'll figure it out. You need help? Go ahead and ask. There's a lot of people. And nowadays, Google is all over. But getting a little uncomfortable walking home and sucking your thumb in the adult world just ain't going to do it anymore. I teach integrity. I teach you how to stand up. I teach you how to show up. And then your life can be just so much better. And then people can, I don't know, trust you, lean on you. And that's really what you want. You don't want to play small. You want to really listen to what people need from you, what you've said you're going to give them, and follow through at all costs. Because if you're not doing that, then... Your, all areas of your life are going to get small, weak. And then that's going to take you out of a good game, a good win. We're here to be uncomfortable. That's really what we're here for. And I did a retreat just a while back where we rode horses. And I got attacked by a dog a year ago. And of course, out of the 10 horses... I got the one that bit, the biter. And I'll tell you one thing, I've never been bitten by a horse, and I hope I can say that the day I pass. It was terrifying, but I'm not going to ask for a smaller horse. Um, if they say that that's my horse, I got to figure it out. After a day and a half, you didn't try to bite anymore. I don't play small. I try to figure it out. I push through the fear. I push through the insecurity. I get curious. I get smart. But I do it. And there's times where you just do that. Because if you don't, on the other side, you'll never get. Did I push through that fear? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was I nervous? Oh, hell yes, I was. I didn't keep my eye off him until I could trust him. But if they trusted me to work this horse and they know more, then I'm going to accept the challenge. It's funny because my, um, my sessions are on Zoom. I've been doing that well before the virus and the plague showed up. And I love it because they're sitting in front of a camera, in front of like a mirror. I can point things out. That's a little scary. Not a lot of people like to see themselves because they're too busy, focused on others and judging others. 
And then it's just like, uh-oh, the judger in me has to look at me and it's not going to be pretty. And so, yeah, I do Zoom. And then I record it and then I make you watch it. And some people say, oh, I can't do it. One lady flat out refused to do a package with me because I'm not going to bow down. I do my business how I do my business. And so many people that say, uh-oh, I got to go. And they didn't even try it. That's getting uncomfortable, wanting it your way, folding your cards well before you put skin in the game. And in the adult world, if I don't get you into the uncomfortable zone to get onto the other side, you don't grow. And I want you to grow. You want yourself to grow. We're here to be happy. We're here to expand consciousness. We're here to learn to get along with people. Be of service. And I'm exceptionally good at what I do. And I'm very confident in what I do. And nobody runs this business. But, but Miss Diane, I'm the only one that does. And I'll push back if they think that they want to show up in control or even know better. Because you don't. You just don't. So take a couple deep breaths. Put some skin in the game. Yeah, you may fall a little bit. You may rough up your knees. You may need a couple of tissues. You may need to ask for direction, not necessarily for help, but ask for direction. And every time you do that, you've gone up your ladder. Don't just stop going home. When we were there working the, um, the horses, we had to feed every morning. I'm like, fine, perfect. I'm there. I was there early. Then a fence needed to be fixed. Everybody needs to fix the fence. Okay, show me the tools. And I don't need to be in control. I want to be guided if somebody knows how to do it. But the ones that didn't even try, didn't even show up to, to help feed, didn't really want to get, I don't know, dirty, sweat a little bit, fixing a fence, they did not grow. They weren't part of the team. They didn't put effort into it. They just said, no, I don't want to, which is, no, I don't want to grow. No, I don't want to get uncomfortable being comfortably small. I had a little difficulty with them. Yeah, yeah. I want to say yes to helping people. I want to say yes to my own growth. Even though I've been doing this for over 30 years, I push myself. Did I want a 15 and a half hand horse that's taller than me that is biting the entire herd and kicking to be my horse for four days? <laughs> I was terrified. But you know me? I worked it out. Did I know how to do it all? No. But I knew that there were other experts around. And I knew that if I stayed in the game and figured it out, I'd be so much better. That's where the pride shows up. That's where the trophy at the end of the day, week, month, or year of your life shows up. It's when you get in the winner's circle. Don't bow out at the moment of uncomfortableness. Don't bow, bow out if you don't get your own way. And most of the time, you shouldn't get your own way. So I hope this has triggered you. I hope you push yourself and actually finally follow through. Because that's where the win is. Without that, each time that you say, no, I'm afraid or scared or not in control and I want to do it my way it's easier every time after that to say no and hop out of the game and then people wonder why life isn't all that good and juicy and great I live a pretty cool great groovy life because I will put skin in, in it I'll figure it out I don't care if I get a little dirty I don't care if I get a little tired I don't care if I get triggered. I'm there for the win. I'm there for the lesson. And if you all know me, you know, I'm going to stay in the game until it's over. And that's all I'm asking for you. And if you can't do it, 
It's just because you don't know how. And that's why you come to somebody like me that's not going to take smallness. And I'm going to help you, push you, shove you through it. Because the win is why we are here. So thank you for listening. And if you like this, go ahead and, and share it. I'd like to have a couple compliments or I'm sorry, comments, because I want to know what's going on in your mind when you listen to these videos. I'm poking you right now. Let me know how you're doing. And again, thank you. I'm Diane Gazine at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls.